Today you are going to use some different features. Instead of using Scratch Cat, you're going to want to go ahead and delete Scratch Cat. And then be careful. Notice as soon as I don't have any sprites, my stage gets highlighted instead. But I actually don't want to um, do what I'm about to do on the stage. I want to do it as a sprite. And what you're going to do is you are going to paint your own sprite. So pick the paintbrush. And when you do, you'll notice that it goes off of the code tab and it switches over to costume. So the idea with today's project is that you are going to draw your own character, your own sprite, um, and then you're going to make some different versions of it, some different costumes. Now there's two drawing tools. One of them is called Vector and one of them is called Bitmap. It automatically takes you to Vector. I don't like Vector a lot. I find that I don't know, I find bitmap easier. So right away, I'm gonna click convert to bitmap because I just find it more user friendly. So as you are doing this, you can use any of the tools here to make a circle or a square or the paintbrush. So I'm gonna use the circle and I am going to make a circle. Um, and once I let go of it, I could always grab the corners and drag it bigger or smaller as needed. Um, and then maybe I will use the paintbrush and change color. And I could come in here. I can tell that the dot um, is really, really tiny if I were to go and use it. Up here is where I can change the size. I can click or I could just type. Maybe I wanna go way bigger. Mm, that's pretty good. So I could come in here and it's already a circle shape. So I could click in a few places and I could make a smiley face. That could be my sprite. And I could always make him a little bit fancier. I could come in and give him, I don't know, some hair maybe. Maybe I'll make this a little bit smaller. Um, oh, that's a lot of the same color. Um, you get the idea. So you're going to make a little character. And then the idea is to change something about that character to make a few versions. So under the costume area here, um, you can, not that, you can alt click or right click or command click, depending on your computer, um, onto the icon for the costume and you could duplicate it. Now I have two smiley faces. And what I might want to do um, is I might want to erase some of my earlier yellow marks. Um, and then I can use the paintbrush and I can fill, oh, it's a slightly different shade of purple than I used before, isn't it? Uh, that kind of worked. <laughs> you, I could have paid attention to what color purple it really was in there before. Um, but the paint can is like you're spilling paint into the area that you select. So I didn't have to recreate the head of my smiley face um, but then I could go in here now and I could go back to my eye color and how big I have the eyes and I could make the face look a little bit different than it did before. Um, maybe now he's not so happy. Maybe now he is frowning. I want to make at least five costumes for this sprite. So five slightly different versions of it. Um, and if I jump over to one that I took the time to make at a different time, let's look at the costumes here. Um, on this one, I did six. So I have smiling and different eyes and then straight across face and frowning. 
Um, and I just made little changes after duplicating the same circle over and over. The code is super easy. You are going to just rotate through um, having it go to the next costume. So let me break this apart and kind of show you what's going on here. So when flag clicked, next costume, if that's all that I have on here, then every time the flag is clicked, it would go to the next costume. If I put a repeat block around it, and I could have that number be whatever, right now it's 10, maybe I'll make it 20. If I click it right now, it goes so fast through those 20, it has no idea if it should pause in between, so it just doesn't. It just goes through them and my poor smiley face looks blurry. So you could grab a wait blank seconds in here. It automatically comes with wait one second. So you could see what this looks like. This, I, I find it to be a little bit slow when changing through these. So you could play around. You could do 0.2 seconds. You could do 0.3 seconds, um, 0.5 seconds, whatever speed works for you. And that's all the code that there is to it. If you don't want it to ever stop, then instead of a repeat block, do a forever block. Now, some people like to keep this really simple. You could do a little stick figure who is, I don't know, doing a cartwheel. Um, you could have an apple falling out of a tree. You could do whatever you would like here. Some people really, really like drawing um, using these tools. So just to give you some idea of ones that students in this class have done before, here was a Pikachu animation that a student did. Um, and keep in mind, like if we go in and look and see what their costumes looked like, they duplicated the main Pikachu quite a few times and then just made little changes to the face. But they did wind up with 13 different costumes. The more costumes you have, the smoother of an animation it's going to be. Um, and then one other example, let me stop this one, um, was an animation that a student did a couple of years ago that told more of a story. So here's this one, let me make it full screen. I, I enjoy that one. I have to watch it one more time. Okay, so looking inside there, theirs is definitely a little bit more complicated. Um, they have some different sprites here. They have their, um, their person sprite, who is just a stick figure, and actually he's only got five costumes. He goes through some slightly different changes to look like he's running. They have the sprite um, that is the treadmill, and it just goes back and forth between these two different ones, but that makes it look like it's moving. And then they have the sprite um, that comes up out of the water, the, the monster, if you will. Um, and as part of the monster, once it catches the person, um, it goes through that and eventually their final costume is that nothing's there. Um, so you can make it as complicated as you want or as simple as you want, but it should have at least five costumes that it is switching between. And that is it.